Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some grilled ribeye. I am still working on using up stuff for my freezer this summer. And so as I've been going through the freezer, I've been finding things that I'd completely forgot about. So I had a couple of packs of boneless ribeye, ribeyes in the freezer. So I grilled them on our charcoal grill and I used this seasoning that I recently picked up from Walmart and it is actually pretty good. Howard and I tasted a little piece of the steak and it's really good. And then I forgot that I had some Bob Evans mashed potatoes in my fridge because normally I would make a baked potato, but I'm using what I have and these needed to be used up. So I just made some of those. And to me, Bob Evans tastes the closest to homemade and we really like them. I made some grilled peppers. I had a multi-pack of peppers, of colored peppers in the fridge. And I also had some mushrooms that I needed to use. So I grilled them as well in my little uh, grill skillet that I talked about on another video. And I'll link it in the description box. And then I also grilled some cabbage that I had in my freezer. I mean, sorry, my fridge that needed to be used up. And I grilled the cabbage separately from the peppers because I didn't have room. So on the peppers and mushrooms, I used this seasoning and it is really good. I got this a while ago from Kroger on clearance and I bought, a se I bought several different um, of their spices and all of them have been really good. And then on the cabbage, which I have never grilled before, um, I used this Hatch Green Chili Seasoning that I talked about on my last grilling video and it is really good, also from Kroger on clearance. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm making another really simple dinner using what I have on hand. So in my pantry, I had these two packages of um, Nor Stroganoff and as you can see I found them on clearance a while back ago so I am going to make these and prepare them according to package directions in my freezer I had some cooked ground beef I don't even remember what I cooked this for but I cooked it with peppers and onions it looks like so that's less than a half a pound so what I'm gonna do is after I cook up the pasta I'm going to add the ground beef to it and then I have just a little bit of sour cream in here, not much. I'm probably gonna add, maybe I'll start out with a quarter cup of sour cream, stir it in and see how that is. I may add a little bit more. So that's gonna be my quick and easy um, stroganoff skillet. I've never made this before. I'm just kind of winging it based on what I have on hand. And then I'm just gonna make some green beans on the side. Okay, so here is everything all plated up, and I have to say, the stroganoff turned out really good. I ended up adding just a smidge more salt to it, and then once I removed the pasta and beef from the, um, from the burner, I then added in my sour cream. So I ended up adding about a third of a cup, not a fourth of a cup, but it is really very good. I would definitely make this again on purpose next time, meaning I would go to the store and buy those, uh, buy the pasta sides just to make this dish. It turned out really well. Here are my green beans and then in the spirit of trying to use up what we have, I had some leftover hot dog buns that I needed to use. So I just put a little bit of butter on them and then I had this zero salt, zero salt nor roasted garlic bouillon that I completely forgot that I had and I just sprinkled it on top and popped it in the air fryer. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having grilled chicken thighs and these are boneless skinless chicken thighs that I had out in my freezer, grilled them on the charcoal grill. And I used this Hatch chili seasoning that I picked up from Sam's recently. And it's okay. I used a seasoning, I guess it's been 
a few weeks ago, a Hatch Green Chili Seasoning, this Everson Spice, uh, and it is much, much better. I actually got this on clearance at Kroger. It's been, it's been a while ago. So we like it better than that Hatch Chili. It just, it's, the Hatch Chili is just not as flavorful as this one, so. And then with the grilled chicken, um, I am serving some leftover cabbage from the other night, that grilled cabbage, and then also made some rice orzo pilaf mix from Trader Joe's. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads. Now Howard and I are eating separately tonight because I have some place to go. So I'm gonna show you mine. He may record his, if not, he'll uh, take a picture um, to insert in this video. But here's the taco salad shells, which I talk about on our channel all the time. Azteca, like I said before, I think this company, um, I'm not sure if this company is still in business. So. Several months ago, I bought a bunch of these and stuck them in my freezer. And so you get four of them and they come with little um, formers. So had those and then also are having these carnitas that I got from HEB a while ago when they had them on sale. This may have been like $3 because it was $4 off and I've never tried their fully cooked meats before. So I just wanted to give them a try. And then um, we're having this Oaxaca cheese. And then I made some white rice um, using this Mia Rose seasoning, which is so good, savory, tastes like garlic and onion. So you just prepare your rice however you want or however you typically do, and then you add this seasoning to it. So my taco salad really looks plain Jane. I don't like a lot of stuff on mine. Howard usually has sour cream, guacamole, you name it, he has it on there. But mine on the very bottom is just some rice, which you can't see. And then I've got the carnitas, the Oaxaca cheese, and the salsa. I do have lettuce, but I completely forgot to put those, uh, put the lettuce on my taco salad. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Like I said, I don't know if Howard will record or not, but I will insert a picture of his meal too. I have avocado on here with some shredded lettuce and cheese and salsa and I have of course the carnitas in there but that, and the rice but that's it I didn't go too overboard today hey guys so for dinner tonight I am tackling my freezer that is in the garage again so I had these um, chicken patties they are raw chicken patties that I found on clearance at Kroger for 366 third pound patty. So Howard grilled these today. And then we also had some patties um, from Omaha Steak Company that my parents had given us um, a while ago for a Christmas gift. So he grilled those too. So this is Howard's plate and he has the beef patty on there. He also grilled some onions and he's got some American cheese. He's got some mayo on his bun, it's not toasted. He also has a slice of tomato and he's gonna add some more condiments once he gets to the table. And then I also made some sweet potato fries in the uh, that I had in the freezer as well. I'll show them to you in a second. This is my plate. Howard grilled my bun for me. I've got the sweet potato fries. I've got Swiss cheese on my chicken burger. And then I've got some of those uh, grilled onions and you can't really see the chicken well, but it looks really good and it's made with dark meat. So it's made with chicken thighs. And then um, got some brioche buns from Aldi and they are really good. And then these are the sweet potato fries that I'm using from HEB and I've had these in my freezer for a while. And I did prepare them in the air fryer um, I think I'm going to try to fry them next time in the deep fryer. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.